Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a product specialist with Isotope, and I'm here today at DB247 to talk about Alloy 2. So here is Alloy 2. I'm in the overview mode where I can see every module I have enabled and make changes on the fly, such as to my transient shaper. If I want to make more detailed changes, I can go down here and enable that module. So the transient shaper is a key feature of Alloy 2. If I solo my drum kit, on which this plugin is enabled, we can hear the difference. So here I'm adding some sustain, giving the drums a lot more punch, and at the click of a mouse, I can tighten my drums up completely. So the Alloy 2 transient shaper is unique because we have a multiband mode. I can have anywhere from one to three bands. And if I right click on learn, the plugin will even decide for me where those bands should go. So it's absolutely fantastic for mixing drums and guitars and getting something boomy out of the low end and then maybe tightening my high end on my drums. I'll give you a quick before and after. Or you can increase the attack and have your drums cut right through. So Alloy 2 also has a multiband mode. This is really useful because on my bass guitar here, I can add some tube warmth to just my low end, and I can brighten up the, uh, the area where he's plucking the bass with some tape emulation, maybe. And again, I can right click and learn, and get those crossover points in exactly the right place. So one of the key themes of Alloy is visual feedback. You can see here I have a compressor and I'm doing some very gentle compression, but across the top of the screen up here, I have a waveform, which is actually showing me my drum waveform in real time, and I can see that yellow line is exactly what my gain is doing. So for instance, if I'm doing some more extreme compression and I have my release time set too high, I can now see exactly how long it takes to recover, and I can get my compression settings just right. And this is something we have across the whole Alloy plugin. We have it in both Dynamics modules, also the Transient Shaper, and the Limiter. So with Alloy, visual feedback is absolutely key, and you can really see what's going on inside your mix. So one of the great reasons to have Alloy 2 as a 7-in-1 channel strip is not just that you can go down the sort of the digital route, or in this case, the vintage route, and get good emulations of both sounds, but we also have an unlimited edit history. So every edit that you make inside the plugin is recorded and you can track back at the click of a button without having to remember or save presets. And I could go mix my drums or my vocal in one way, set that to A, and spend maybe 10 or 15 minutes mixing my drums in an entirely different way, set that to B, and now I can A, B changes on the fly. So it's really great encouraging you to mix and explore and you can just switch at the touch of a button. 